Hello everyone and welcome to this post-race show of the 2020 Russian Grand Prix, a race that was won by Valtteri Bottas in front of Max Verstappen with Red Bull and Lewis Hamilton in third after he served a 10 second penalty for taking a practice start before the race where he should have not. Quick warning here, this is the 10th penalty points on Lewis Hamilton's super license, meaning that if he gets two more this season, he will get a race ban, which would be very meaningful probably for this Formula 1 season. So now let's take a look at the winners and losers of this Russian Grand Prix. And as usual, before we start, please remember to hit the like button and to subscribe. Let's start now with our winners for this weekend. And a lot of positive taking out of the Russian Grand Prix as many teams have done some really good job. So let's start with Alpha Tauri. Starting the race on a different strategy with both drivers on the hard tire, Kvyat and Gasly ran a patient race knowing that the fight would come at the end of the race. Both drivers did what they had to do and fought great battle on the track to bring home a double point finish in 8 and 9, and maybe only one lap away for Kvyat to get a 7th place at his home Grand Prix. They stay in fight for the 6th place in the championship and deserve an 8.5 out of 10 this weekend. Mercedes they were dominating all weekend, and it was clear from the start that nobody would beat them. Congratulations to Valtteri Bottas, who takes this victory and closes the gap to Lewis Hamilton in the championship. Lewis only has himself to blame for his third place, as he got 10 second penalty for doing a practice start where he shouldn't have before the race. Hamilton will have to be careful from now on, as he got 10 penalty points on his super license, and two more would signify that he would get a race ban. Putting that aside, another strong race for the Silver Arrows, but Hamilton will have to wait to beat another Schumacher's record. 7.5 out of 10. Racing Point Excellent job for Sergio Perez finishing 4th when we thought that car would have trouble finding pace on this track. His teammate Lance Stroll tangled up with Charles Leclerc on lap 1 and got taken out for the second race in a row, but there's nothing he could do about it. But with these results that Perez got for the last two races, by qualifying and finishing in front of Stroll both times, we really hard to start wondering if the team made the right choice in getting rid of the Mexican driver for 2021 and keeping Lance. Only time will tell, but for today, they deserve a 7.5 out of 10. Renault Tricky race for the French team as they have been fighting in that mix for 5, 6, 7, 8 for the whole race. Ricardo got a 5 second penalty at the end of the race but managed to increase the gap to Leclerc enough to avoid losing a position and finishes 5th. Ocon also fought hard up until the end where he had Daniel Kvyat in his gearbox up until the last corner and holds on to 7th place. Another good double points finish for Renault and making that battle for 3, 4 and 5 in the Constructors Championship only more intense. Good job, 7.5 out of 10. The last of our winners for this weekend, Alfa Romeo. Not a point finish, but still another good result for the Italian team all things considered as they were able to fight with the Ferrari of Vettel during the race and avoid trouble to finish the race in very respectable positions. Giovinazzi just barely out of the point in 11th place and Raikkonen in 14th and with this race, Kimi now equals the record for most F1 races started at 322, equaling the records of Rubens Barrichello. There's not much more that Alfa Romeo can hope, but they're getting small victories where they can 7 out of 10. Now the teams who deserves a passing grade for this weekend, we start with Red Bull. One had a great weekend, the other looking for pace. Verstappen managed to qualify second on Saturday and finishes in that same place the race, splitting the Mercedes and getting the best result they could possibly hope 
when they thought other teams would be fighting with them. Albon, after a first podium in Italy two weeks ago, was struggling all weekend. Only getting a 10th place in quali, started 15 due to gearbox change, he dropped at the back of the pack on, on lap 1 and after fitting the hard tire under the safety car, was never able to find pace to climb back up the pack. That car should have been able to make places easily and pass the Williams and Alfa Romeo, but got stuck behind them for a good number of laps and losing time. The tie driver finishes 10th, but should have done better. 6.5 out of 10 for Red Bull. Haas. Another weekend without points doesn't mean that they didn't have a good race. After admitting that they were already focusing on 2021 and dropping 2020, it is hard to expect anything from the American team. Yet, both drivers made very good progress at the start and ran in 9th and 10th after the safety car. They were able to hold their ground for a little while before dropping 12th for Magnussen and 17th for Grosjean. But we have to see the bright side that they were able to be in the mix and Kevin even beat one of the main Ferrari driver. 6.5 out of 10 for the American team. Ferrari. Stunning job by Charles Leclerc who brings the car home in 6th place after starting in 11th place. He fought hard and had a very decent pace throughout the race beating one of the Renault and both Alpha Tauri, which are fighting with them for 6th in the championship. Vettel, on the other hand, had another weekend to forget, and we really have to start wondering what is going on with him. The German driver finishes behind in Alfa Romeo and a Haas that have the same engine as him, but also, compared to teammate Leclerc, a 13th place is inexplicable. It is true that he's leaving the team at the end of the season, but such a bad result can't be only explained by motivation loss. I hope we'll get some answers soon. It's a 6 out of 10 for Ferrari. Williams. Another race with nothing to expect. George Russell made it to Q2 on Saturday and did what he could during the race. Both him and teammate Nicolas Latifi had similar pace and were able to fight during the race and Russell even tried for the fast lap on the final lap, which explains why he has the last place in the standing since he had to pit stop another time. The positive to take from that is that Russell is once again showing good quality pace and even during the race a strong pace, and Latifi seems to be getting better and better during the race. It's a 6 out of 10 for Williams. And finally, to our losers for the weekend, only one team in that category, McLaren. Weekend to forget for McLaren, Saints crashing in the wall while cutting co corner on lap 1, and Norris trying everything to make the hard tire last, resulted only in a 15th place. Lando simply had no grip anymore at the end of the race after 45 laps on the hard tire, he locked them on multiple occasions and just had to pit again to fit a new set of tire, losing a lot of time and explaining why he dropped so low. With that, there are only two points between them and Racing Point for that third place in the Constructors' Championship. Let's hope that they can bounce back in two weeks in Germany. It's only a 4 out of 10 for McLaren. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you again within two weeks for the German Grand Prix at the Nürburgring. See you next time.